All right, Wyatt, tell me what you're doing. Tell us what, tell them what we're doing, what you did, what you found. Well, I was up here ground squirrel hunting, and I You were hunting? No duh. You yeah. evil, evil person. Stupid vegetarian. Uh, and I found a swarm in the tree. You found a what? A bee swarm. <gasps> hey, everybody. Guess what Wyatt found? Another swarm. Yay! Oh, <laughs> like I don't have enough bees. This is a pretty good size one too. No, I'm charging you for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll let you eat dinner tomorrow night. How's that sound? Huh? What? How's that sound? I just charged you for bees. Huh? I just charged you for bees. Yeah. So I didn't bring a tripod. I didn't bring anything. I'm in a pair of shorts for crying out loud. I did grab my bee suit. We have no ladder. Wyatt thought this was about eight feet off the ground and he could climb the tree, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I think you can step on that root. I'm glad I built some new swarm traps over the weekend. I have no idea. That's a big swarm, actually. Let me get a close up to it. That's what I said is pretty good size. I didn't even It's see. higher than I thought. Yeah, we're going to need a 16 foot ladder for this. So we're going to have to run back home then. We're going to need the, those, a single piece of that 16 foot ladder at home. Okay, I'll be back. I can haul it on the motorcycle. Uh, hold on. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute, get this figured out. Alright, so the boys, we made up our mind. The boys are heading down to get a 16 foot ladder. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna stay here and and uh, hang out with the bees, I guess. Uh, this is an area above my house where I don't know, 500 yards from my home, and maybe a little more than that, even up in an old clear cut. It's pretty up in here. It was prettier before they logged, but still pretty. Got a creek down here in the draw. The thimbleberries are really blooming. Look at that. These are some of the best eating berries. Look over there, they're all over in here. All these white flowers you're seeing out through this meadow are all thimbleberry blossoms. Okay, so everybody, here's my plan the swarm right here. I got all the posterior limbs trimmed off. I'm going to cut the main branch, trying to go very easily so bees don't fall. And then if all goes well, I'm going to walk down the ladder with the branch in hand, right over the top of my box, which I have open and ready to go, and then lay it and shake them right down into my box. We'll see how this works. Are they getting mad? No, well, they're just, they're being vibrated, so they don't like that. You know, it'd be easier to cut if you cup up high. I know, but I didn't want that much. Another problem I can foresee here is the weight. Does it feel pretty heavy? Yeah. Can you hand me the saw? I'm just gonna drop the saw. A lot of bees. Okay, saw's coming down onto the dirt pile. Okay. Going slow. None are dropping really. Yeah, they've been looking good so far. They're not being that mad either. No, well that's because they're warm.
Wait there, hold that up and I'll take That's a lot of bees. Isn't that cool all in that white fur branch? I took a picture. Put the lid on it and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna trim away some of these. Where's some snips? My back pump. You still recording? Uh, all I'm gonna do here is try to trim away some of these. I'll get closer. I think it just. Put the branch in the box and deal with it when we get home? Well, no. I'd rather just get it all shut up and closed up right here. Idaho deer hunter, it sounds more like Idaho bee hunter. I know. Not much deer hunting in this video. Videos are there. It's all bee hunting. Hey, I'll take what I can get. Can't beat free bees. Better than paying 130 bucks online for them. All right, I think I'll do the first shake. Okay, I'm backing up. Hopefully we get the queen. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is roll, cut every branch off. Now oh, the back is a bunch up here swarming around. Look at your leg. I know. They're crawling out. We may, uh, since they're just pouring out and pouring every which direction, we may uh, leave this up here tonight. And eat. Try to get the top on it and whatnot. There's a lot of bees. Look how many are still up at the tree. They're hitting me now. They're, they're mad. I'm going to back up then. Try to get a better view. Looks like they're starting to come back into the box. Got a bee in there. Somehow one managed to get inside. Is it zipped up on the bottom all the way? Okay, coming up to the road. Seeing all these bees makes me feel crawling with them. <laughs> uh. 
Bailey. Calm her now. You could walk up here if you want and get a picture of that or video. I'm going to grab the lid. It's a lot of bees. Okay, I know it's going to be hard to see, but we're home. Uh, there's the swarm trap. All the bees are in it. It's right up here with my other hives. I uh, put a lag bolt in the tree and just hung the hive off of it. This is going to be their home for a while and until I can get another top bar built. I am plumb out of ready to go hives. I was not expecting to get any more. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. I hate to ask that every time, but it does make a difference.